Hi everyone. So today we will be discussing the problem 1931 painting a grid with three different colors. So let's first discuss the problem statement. You are given two integers m and n. Consider m cross n grid where each cell is initially white. You can paint each cell red, green, or blue. So we have three choices, and uh, we have to return the way uh, to color the grid with no two adjacent cell having same color. And the answer can be large. And there are some examples. So the key thing to note here is that m is very small, and m is the number of rows. So we can use this to our advantage. So let's first understand the problem intuition. So uh, we have to make a grid such that no two adjacent block can have same color. If I have red here, I cannot have red here, 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 and here. So if if we uh, take to take this into our consideration, we have to look. above back front and uh, below so so instead of uh, instead of making all this computation for uh, in all directions what we can do is we, we know that m is at max 5 so if i generate all the combination i can put in a column so let's say this is a table of four rows and if i put r g b and now r here and if i know that a there is a valid combination of putting g b r and g here i know this is a valid combination and if i store all such valid combinations i just have to see how many path i can get so so i i will show you a graph i made so if i put r g b here so let's say this is a table of row 3 and if i put rgb in the first column then in second column i have a choice of putting grg either either gbr or brg or gbg and there are, there can be more uh, nodes and if let's say i put gbr in the second column then uh, in the next column i can put rgb brg so you can see this is making a graph so, uh, so this is making a graph and we only our uh, problem is that we need to calculate how many path are there since all these are valid paths because we already calculated uh, what are the valid combination we can put uh, in front of this column rgb and we have calculated for all these combinations and uh, you can see like uh, if for this column i have choice of putting r g or b either red blue or green so i have three choices and here now since there is red above so i cannot put red here now only choice i have is either put green or blue so i have two choices here and similar way i have choice of either putting blue or red here so two choices here and here the green or blue two and if let's say at maximum uh, the size of table have five rows so i have also two choices here either green or blue so at max the number of combinations would be 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 4 which is Uh, less than uh, uh, 10 to the power 2, which is actually uh, really small, and we can use this uh, in our ad uh, advantage of making a graph. So now only thing we have to do is we have to make a graph, a valid graph, and count how many paths are there uh, for a combination. And we can do this for all combinations. Like if I put this in our root node and count all the paths. and add these numbers of path to making uh, with another root so let's say total number of path for rgb as root comes to be n now i will find how many path are there if i put uh, grb here so let's say uh, it comes 5 so we will add all those paths and that would be our final answer so let's jump to the implementation so i will be taking a map to store our graph and i am taking integers because i will be storing indexes of the nodes instead of storing all uh, these uh, string because it will uh, only increase memory uh, uh, so i will not store whole string i will uh, rather store a string integer uh, or index at which this combination i will store in our uh, combination map so Uh, we will have a combination vector where we will be inserting all our combination 
that we will be generating. So let's first generate a combination. So the length of each combination would be M. So So this would be the our string and second argument would be our previous character and in start we don't have any previous character so I have taken star, uh, this star and the next we will be is the length of the combination. So if the length of combination is now 0, this is our base case, uh, we will push the combination in our vector uh, S and we will return it. Now we take a string str of rgb and we will iterate over this string and we will say if the current character is not equal to the previous character then add this to our combination string and uh, now the previous character would be 10 and now length of combination is decreased by 1 because we have added a 1 character and at then we can just say that now we have generated all our combination so now what we can do is we will iterate over all the nodes or all the combination in our vector so in form size would be now we will iterate on our com vector and we will make a graph for each combination and we will also iterate on all the columns of each combination and uh, we can say comb of i size and it would be of length m so just say m and we will say if a uh, combination of i and k is not equal to or we can say is equal to equal to combination of j k we will say flag is false and break it. so we will take this flag here so we will say that uh, this is not a valid combination uh, and this will not be our, a valid path for our graph so don't put push it in our graph uh, rather break it break from the loop and look for another combination and if it is a valid combination then push it into our graph uh, for node i so we will push index j so what we are doing here is that uh, we are iterating like this and uh, for uh, let's say for rgb i am iterating like this and and for all other combination i am also iterating like this and i am saying that is r is the first um, character is equal is equal to this character first character of uh, this string and if it is equal we will break because we cannot put r here we cannot put r uh, like this like r g b and the next combination is r b g so we will break it if uh, such combination is there and if a combination is valid like this we will push in the uh, in uh, this graph a, a, gra a, a graph where this RGB is the node and uh, we will so now we have created our graph so what we will do is we will iterate uh, we will iterate over our combination vector and we will say uh, plus equal answer equal to answer plus uh, now uh, re uh, recursively traverse over all the path when i is the node and uh, we will also 
when i is our node and n is the length of all the uh, number of columns so uh, the path can will end when uh, we will reach n is equal to 0 because n is the number of columns in the table so if we reach here if you put uh, the uh, put a combination in last column we will uh, know that we have reached the end of the path uh, so we will return with plus 1 and uh, since the answer could be large we have to also uh, mod it and let me define our mod so let's uh, write this solve function So we will say if n is equal to equal to 0, we will just return 1 because we have uh, reached the end of the path and uh, uh, we have to count this path. So, so we are traversing over paths because let's say I come to this node and uh, I will say now go to this node also and go to this node also and when I reach the leaf or end of path, I will return 1 here, I will return 1 here and uh, this makes 2 and I will return 2 here. And similarly from here we will get something let's say 2 or 3 or something and we will add all these because these are all the paths we can go like we can go from this to this and this uh, this node then this node so like this we are tra traveling recursively we say that answer 0 so we will traverse on our neighbors of our group node and we will add all the path so now this will be the root uh, and uh, we will say n minus 1 and we will mod this and this and we will return answer so we have uh, we are we have traversed over all the combination uh, so here we are saying put i equal to 0 as our root then put i equal to 1 as our root and then uh, traverse all of its path and we add all the path and then we return it so here we are traversing over 100 combination and for each 100 combination we are also traversing over 1000 1000 uh, uh, columns and this could be of length 10 to the power 4 because like if uh, each combination can make combination with let's say uh, all the combination minus 1 so this could give us TLE so what we can do in such condition is that we can uh, use dynamic programming so let's uh, first make our DP array and uh, DP can be of at max length so here the states of the DPR is this root and n and the root can be of maximum of uh, 100 so we will take 1 of 5 and n can be of 1000 so we can take 1005 and uh, let's initialize this dp array with mem set dp minus 1 size of dp so this will fill this dp uh, matrix with minus 1 and uh, we can say uh, we can store uh, we can store all the pre-calculated sub problems here uh, as root and n so we will say that if we come to such a root again uh, with n as same if we have calculated this sub problem we will not calculate it again instead we will just uh, return the pre-calculated answer we will say return dp of uh, root and n. And, uh, we can put a mod here just in. So since we have taken our map and uh, this combination vector is global, so we have to clear uh, them in the start so that if they run for another test case, uh, our previous answer should not interfere in those. So we will just clear it without clear and uh, 
and then we will just return answer. So there is one problem uh, here that uh, we are pushing on each iteration, uh, where else we have to only push when every column is uh, different. So we have to push only when every column is different from the previous column. So it should be here uh, out of this kth loop because we are checking for each column here. And uh, also there should be n minus one because uh, we have already uh, say that this should be one of the node in the path. So we will say one node is already taken uh, or already put. And also DP should not be equal to minus one. Uh, uh, so because we have filled our DP with uh, negative ones and uh, we are uh, putting the answer when we have pre -sub calculated this sub problem. So we will see if this sub problem is already calculated, we will just return. And now if I run, it looks good. So let's submit. And you can see uh, it's running quite fine. So if you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. And uh, thank you very much.